Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Surgery. Today, today, today. Today and today only. And maybe tomorrow you can watch it again. But today, we have the Deadhead by Buffalo Bags. Two of them. We're going to do a comparison between the 2021 to 22 and the new 2023 to see if there's a difference. I think there is. Right off the bat, this one feels a little bit fuller. Just a little bit. I think this is a single pellet. And I, I think they might have mixed or done something. It just feels a little bit fuller. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's in my head. Both of these are brand new. These were sent in and I bought these. Uh, it's similar to a Surefire, uh, but the difference is like, it's the same fabric on the back, Embry, but they use the back side, the uh, matte kind of finish side, the inside of the fabric. And over here is Rave, just like a Surefire. However, it's the back side of Rave. It's that smooth side. This right here versus the textured side. And you know, when I first started making bags, I didn't like I didn't like that back side too much. And then I started I tried it out. And I was like, you know what? That's not bad. And it, it plays great. What can I say? It is good stuff. People were right from the get, from the get go. I want to take a look at these. See if we can see a difference in closing stitches right away. Let me get some light on there. I think this is when they were doing it by hand on a manual machine. And you've probably seen some videos of an automatic tacker machine that they got. Because look at the stitch length, super short. It's doubled over. Pretty sweet. And on uh, on this one, you can see that closing stitch is definitely not centered. It's off by just a little bit. This is the one bag, and then this one is pretty good. I think it's I think it's centered. Pretty rounded. It's not the biggest bag in the world, design-wise. It's pretty cool. This is stock imagery. That, now, when it comes to design, like what they're able to do with the images they have is really cool. They'll take like, tons of different colors and themes and gradients and all that. And it all works. Like this layout really comes together to make it a nice looking bag. It's still one color centric. I'd call this orange. I think it was like Hunter Camo, whatever the name was. But I bought these off the website. It's like a hundred some odd bucks only to compare it against these bags which were sent in. And they'll be going back to the owner. But my God, that was expensive. That was an expensive experience. They got here quick though. They do pride themselves on shipping quick and they did. It got here, I think it shipped next day or the day after and it's UPS two, two day. The shipping charge was added extra, which I absolutely cannot stand. But I, th I have a theory of why companies do that. And I think it has to do with these guys right here because of the ACL. I think that, I mean, the ACL gives them guidelines to set their price because they're, they're gonna get 15% on a royalty. But I think if they include shipping in the price, they're losing out on shipping and are paying a royalty on the shipping to, to the ACL. So let's say this bag costs $100. It doesn't, but <laughs> let's say four bags cost it $100. ACL gets 15 bucks for every sale. And now they add shipping and they don't lose any more money. They don't lose any more out of that 85 bucks. But if they included shipping, ACL would still take 15%, $15. They lose another 10 to 15. I think they charge 15 for shipping, which is still too high. So now they're out 30 bucks and they're at $70 profit versus 85, which is a big difference. After you sell a thousand sets, you're looking at 15,000 bucks or more. But the bag itself looks great. And like I said, this is, I found this skull thing on Shutterstock. So it's not like they drew it themselves. Same with this King pattern. It's all stock imagery, but like I said, they do really, really cool stuff with it. And the sublimation looks great. Tony the Tiger reference. Great colors, great blacks, even an Epson printer. And uh, yeah, this looks really sharp. Fabric feels good feels good like it was not handled too much uh, some some places make bags and they're just getting tossed around and by the time the bag gets to you it's like eh, it's all beat up this feels good 
My gripe with this, okay, you got a lot going on back here. What was supposed to go right here? Why is it just black? Could have done something with the space. I don't like negative space when there's a lot going on, you know. I see the puzzle, but then there's a black splat. It doesn't make sense. So you can still see the puzzle in the background here, or underneath the mask or whatever, on that layer and then the skull layer. Deadhead. Two different ways of putting the logo. Capitalized, lowercase cursive. Let's get a weight on these bad boys. We're gonna do it real quick. 1 1.01, 1.1, 1.0, 1.01, 1.01. So let's see, a four way, 4.03, yeah, 4.3, that makes sense. One even, one, Oh, 01 and 0. All right, we should get 4.1. That 4.3. Am I crazy? Hmm. That don't make sense. Size wise, we're looking at, get right on it, 5. These are not broken in, they're brand new. 5.85, roughly. I'm touching on the left, barely. Now I'm touching on the right. Yeah, it's in the 5.8 range, so they're, they're good there. Let's check these ones. These were not broken in as well. They're probably just handled a little more. Feels a little flatter. That's where it measuring at six. So maybe it is a different size and that's why the other ones feel you know, fuller. Maybe it is a little bit smaller. I'm gonna measure another one of the current bags, 5.9. Pat her on down, check it for drugs. 5.9. Oh, yeah, these feel just a little bit fuller. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Oh, am I going crazy? Are they fuller? Let's find out. I think I'm not going to smash. Maybe, maybe a little bit of smash, but we'll just wiggle. I'll get that nice and flat. We'll measure it off camera with the calipers where the edge of the table is. Total height is 4.24954. out of 5 by 4 to these other ones, Let's see if they are thicker. Let's remember that number, 4.25. Give it a good. Ha ha, they are thicker, 4.375. So they're thicker by a whole uh, point one to point somethings of an inch, divided by four, so they are a little bit thicker. Well. Without further ado, we're going to dig all right in. This one should be a little easier because it looks like it's a single stitch. Although it's never really easy on this fabric. All right, well, we got it open. And there's like one more stitch I'm not going to bother with. Let's take a look at this. Yep, single pellet. There it is. Smaller. That's it. It's a pellet you've seen before. Nice. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna take this guy apart too. Wow. Oh man. I did it off camera. You do not. You do not have to worry about a buffalo bag ever coming apart. That was tough. Single pellet fill. We'll put them in separate containers. See if there's any difference. There's not, but we'll do it anyway. Ah, 
This is my favorite version of the pellet. So like a little bit smaller, just a little bit, probably the same size, but this is like, got most of the sharp edges kind of rounded off. Uh, it just feels a little better in my hand. But overall, this is great stuff and it's gonna buff out. You've seen videos with it buffed out. By that I mean, like it was in the other Buffalo video. Get it buff, Buffalo. So the M1, or the, was it the M1? Yeah, their carpet bag we did. Same pellet, but that one was very used and he saw how shiny and slick and soft those pellets were. Soft, not like squeezable, but soft because they're so shiny and slick. That's, that's where it comes into play. I talked about it in that video. Breaking in bags with chemicals ain't enough. You gotta throw the bag, get the fill broken in too. All right, here we have the 2022 and the 2023. They may look the same, but they're not. They're a little bit different. And if you look closely, you can see it right here. See right here? That is two separate stitching, and this is one single one done by an automated machine, I believe. Let's get in closer, I wanna see something. Kinda of see a little stitch line, but there is a cross stitch right there. I'll prove it. See that? That is indicative of a machine going up and down and around, an automated machine. But you don't have that on this solar bag. This one is a twin needle machine, I believe, the same one they've been using for a while. Um, it's getting close. your start and stop points there. Come around. And the ending. Very good. And here's the 2023. Automated machine and the, see that little wiggle right there? How that curve just kind of jitters back and forth a little bit. Also indicative of an automated machine, which is good. Just standardizes everything. No mistakes. But the template is uh, basically the same. The opening is exactly the same. A little too small if you ask me <laughs> but if you look uh, closely again you can see here the closing stitch went well past the opening same on this one and oh my god was this hard to open that there was triple the amount of stitches and I think it was three or four times over this was actually double stitched there was a down and back and this was down back down back down back a thousand times to get it closed see how tiny these little holes are these are a little wider this is the automated machine. Just poof, 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 poof. Here we have the, what I call the regular side of Embry, the shinier side. This is the side we use on Illust. And uh, this is also the side we use on Illust, this textured side. Hindsight, I, I kind of wish I used the other side, but I like it how it is. I think these were all hand cut around the edge, very time consuming, but uh, good attention to detail. It is weird that there is a line here. You can see it right there. There's a line there, it's underneath that thread. It's a line here. You can definitely see it there. Kind of see it there. I wonder if that was sublimated on. I wonder, I doubt it, but I wonder where that line came from. Uh, I don't see it on this one. Uh, 
Or do I? Or do I? Or do you? No, I don't see one. A little different manufacturing process. Always good to see. Good to see companies changing how they do things to make it either faster, better, more accurate, more repeatable. Good. There you have it, the Buffalo Bags Deadhead. 2022-2023. See, I, the reason why I wanted to compare these two was in their Buffalo podcast, which is really cool, by the way. Big ups on that. Big kudos to that. Really like it. Uh, they were talking about the bag controversy thing and the bags be the right or wrong size. And do you make it the right size when you make it or you or have it lead in to be the right size or whatever they're saying. So they're talking about making changes to their bags, but there are no changes to these bags except being this being on an automated machine and this being on a twin needle. Okay, the closing stitch is not that different. This is also automated. This is the one I closed up and we get a different bag. Automated, there's like 500 stitches in there. <laughs> and then uh, this one, probably not automated. It was doubled over, but I don't think it was automated. I don't want to say it was or wasn't. It's kind of hard to tell and who cares. But not that different. The fill is exactly the same. Templates exactly the same. Like they're not that different. Somehow these came out to be thicker than these by only a fraction. I don't know how or why because everything else is the same. The pellets are the same. It's the same weight. They're the, they're the same, but different somehow. Either way, they're in spec and this is probably their most popular bag, or at least it was for a while. If it's not now, then maybe the fallout replaced it. All in all, this bag will serve you right. Uh, I like the way this feels. The, the matte kind of pillowy side it feels good. I imagine it slows down substantially in humidity. This always plays good, this fast side. Uh, I want to thank the donor for these bags. That person is also going to receive these bags as a free gift uh, because they actually sent me these like four months ago. <laughs> They've just been sitting waiting for me to make videos. But we're back. And thanks for watching. I'm going to give these two dead thumbs up.